morning guys it's saturday july 10th having a coffee for two points and then two eggs and two sausage and the breakfast is two points so four points total for breakfast i'm eating an apple it had a bad spot on it so i just cut it off and i'm going to eat this so about half an apple or so for a snack long morning of working so i'm just going to sit down it's one o'clock i'm going to have some chicken breast and i will put the points well you'll see the points in my app i didn't scan the box but i will and i'll put it in the end because i'm going to get back out to work soon here so this is what i'm having for lunch plus i had lots of peas out in the garden so i had probably a good cup of peas out there Searing a pork tenderloin for supper tonight i will show you what i'm making after i get it all done I got that browned on all four sides. I'm going to throw it in the Instant Pot. I set the Instant Pot for five minutes. So this is the recipe. Instant Pot Garlic Pork Tenderloin. Try saying that three times fast. I had a hard time saying it slow. Anyway, this is the recipe. And then what I did was I did not saute it in the Instant Pot. I sauteed it inside of my cast iron pan. And then I, I see, of course, seasoned it and everything beforehand. And I seasoned it inside the cast iron. And I also put the, the I didn't have chicken broth, so I used beef broth. I'm using what I have. And I put it, I put that also inside of the cast iron pan after I removed the pork tenderloin and put it in the Instant Pot. And then I, I mixed up this stuff and then I put that in there as well. And then I put all of the liquid inside the Instant Pot with the pork roast. And now I am on step six, I think. Well, kind of step five yet. But if you want to know where I got this at, I can't tell you because it doesn't. Oh, here. Uh, it doesn't give the website address. So I can't even tell you where I got it from. But there's the keywords. And here is the, huh, you're supposed to use two pounds of, you're supposed to use two pounds of tenderloin. I didn't have two pounds, I just had one. So that's what we're using. But yeah, it doesn't, if I find out where I got this from, I will let you know. Because it does not say where this is from, which is really odd. There is a user, an author, from Diet Hood, so maybe you can find it that way. But I'll look, I'll see. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. Otherwise, you have it here. You can pause the video and check out the instructions. Put in the nutrition facts for this. It comes out as seven smart points, which I wasn't sure about because, I mean, it's pork tenderloin. So I looked up just plain pork tenderloin in the Weight Watchers app, and that was only two. So I'm assuming that it's just low fat and low points normally because it does have maple syrup. No, I didn't use all of the olive oil. It says to use a lot of olive oil and I'm, I didn't do that. I used not even half of it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and feel safe at counting this for seven points. And you don't need all the oil. Trust me, you don't. To fry that up, as long as you have a good nonstick pan, you just need like a teaspoon or two teaspoons of oil to fry it up. And that's all I put in it. So I think the two tablespoons is a little much. And then it calls for another three tablespoons or two tablespoons down here. And I just put like a teaspoon in that. So, yeah, I mean, this goes in the Instant Pot, this part of it. And I don't think you need all that oil. So I didn't add it. I did add the full three tablespoons of maple syrup, though. I did add that. And everything else was the same. But otherwise, I, the only thing I did differently was lower the oil. And I am going to... Oh, it just got done. Five minutes. That was fast. Okay, so I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to thicken the gravy on it. I'll let you know how it tastes. Just the mess around this, but this is the gravy it made, and boy, is it good. It's pretty thick, too. Really good gravy. We absolutely love the sauce. Hold on. My dog's going to bark because people are coming in the door. You guys, this is so delicious. Don't you agree, Corey? Mm -hmm. It is awesome. It is awesome. I recommend this recipe, so check it out the orange sorbet this is the fit and active orange sorbet it is from aldi five points we're having that for a snack tonight 
Well guys, I am just plum tuckered out. So I'm sitting in the garden. We just had our ice cream, the orange sorbet. But we got a lot of the entryway done. Corey's mowing the grass. We also got a lot of weed eating done and a lot of picking up of, okay kitty, you gotta get down. A lot of picking up over there and getting that uh, rid of those huge logs. Oh my God, it was so heavy. Uh, no, no. That is so annoying. He keeps jumping up here. He wants to lick my arms. He's a licky kitty. They all are, all three of them. I don't know why. So anyway, that's what we're working on. I am deadheading my fancy little petunia here. And then that's probably about all we're gonna do. I think Corey's gonna mow that down yet over there. I think you can kind of see he took the sigh and I think that's why it, what it's called. Anyway, the big thing with the long, sharp uh, cutter thing <laughs> and he knocked that all down. I think you guys saw what it looked like before. I think I took a little a snippet of it. We still have one log right there and we have to cut that down and just get it down towards the woods. But I told Corey, I said, you need to slice those pieces thinner because I cannot lift the darn things. They're so heavy because it's a wet log yet. It's pretty fresh. So they're really heavy. So that's what we're working on today. It's a big job. So we're slowing down on getting the wood chips in here because we're trying to get everything else done while it's still cool. And now the garden is completely in the shade because it's 730. And we are loving it out here now because it's shady. I just sat down to take a little break because I was raking up all the pieces of logs in that long grass so Corey doesn't run any of them over. That's really tough in long grass to rake. Really tough. I did a good enough job because he's over there mowing. I'll listen for the big clunks. Munching on some more carrots out in the garden here. These are so good. So hard today and have so many points left. We're having some tiny cheese pretzels. Roll Gold is the brand. Good evening, you guys. We're going into my Weight Watchers app today. I have three points left to, re to roll over. And breakfast, I had, I did have that Hershey's sugar-free chocolate syrup in my coffee. That worked out really well because it melted in there so it wasn't chunks of chocolate hanging out. So that actually tasted good. Now I put two tablespoons in, it is zero points. But I I think tomorrow I'm going to go down to one tablespoon because two tablespoons made it a little too sugary. And then I, well, I also had four tablespoons of the cream, the coffee creamer too. So that could be why too. So I'm going to lessen those next time. And I did only have one cup of coffee today. And then Johnsonville, two, two breakfast sausages, two eggs. That's all I had for breakfast. And then for lunch, I just had the chicken deli meat because I just wasn't feeling like eating a whole lot. So I just had three ounces of that, which was one point, And I did scan it. We got that at Aldi. It was really good. And then for dinner, we had that garlic pork tenderloin. And man, was that good. And what I did was I just figured out their nutrition information that they supplied for you. And it came to seven points. Now, we didn't eat all of the sauce that um, was in that point. So we still counted it as seven. And I thought that was really low. And so I went to check pork tenderloin and it was two points just for the pork tenderloin alone. So the extra five points would have been for the like the oil and the the uh, maple syrup, which <clears throat> which we didn't use all of the oil either. So and then I had oops getting click happy. Come on. Okay, so then for snack, I had the roll gold pretzels. I had 85 grams of those because I just had a small portion and then I was still hungry. So I went and had the rest of the little bag that what was left in the bag and it ended up being 85 grams um, total between the two of them. So I did count those. I think it was 50 grams the second time. So I counted all of them. I weighed them out nine points and I still had three points left. So that was pretty good. And of course we had our orange sorbet. I did not, yes, I think I did show that. And then we had fresh watermelon today. And of course in the garden, we had lots of peas and carrots too. I didn't track those though, but that is it. And you guys, that dinner, that pork tenderloin, 
I definitely recommend that. We highly recommend it. Even Nick loved it. It was so delicious. And I forgot to put my water down. So I'm going to put, I had 80 ounces of water. And that is it today, guys. We will see you guys all tomorrow. And I've got 49 weekly points remaining. Use 26 today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Some things come easy. Some